We're back down here at the Syndicate, uh, finally, after about a week and a half's rest and enjoying the summer and the beers. Uh, I finally decided to come back down. Nice to be back out, missed it really. Um, trying out the new toy, the Super Broly. Nice piece of kit. Um, and Rocky's down with us, we're doing 48 hours. Um, and then Dommy's coming down tomorrow as well, so it should be good. As you can see, we've got the rods out, lights going, so it was probably about, I don't know what time, it's probably about half six, seven ish. Um, and we've been here for about an hour and a half, two hours, so it's looking good. Set up in the shallow end, um, and we'll have to see how the night goes. I think it's going to be alright, so I'll just get back to you in a bit and hopefully we'll fish. Uh, if not, um, maybe rigs and stuff, but should be good. Okay, well, as you can probably tell, it is the morning now. Last night was quite eventful, but also uneventful. Um, had three takes, nothing came of them, mostly trailers. Um, had a couple of fish swim through the line, kind of quite close to the rod tips, which I didn't expect, um, given us screaming takes. Um, and also this morning, I walked off around to have a look at the lake and left the receiver rocky, and there was a screaming take on my right hand rod, which was in the margin. Um, but this morning, we've rechucked the rods, <coughs> um, baited up. And hopefully today's been more successful than uh, than yesterday. There's a lot of fish up here. It's hot today, so we're up in the shallow, so it's going to work in our advantage. And hopefully it's going to be all right. Um, it's looking pretty good. This morning it was really, really misty. Um, couldn't see the rods from my brolly. Um, and then last night was really cold. For some stupid reason, I decided to bring my snooze light um, tracker sleeping bag out and realised it was a bit colder than what I expected. So, yeah. That was an error on my part there, should have looked at the weather. But yeah, it should be good. Um, we're well, probably approaching 11 o'clock now on the second day, so the first night's gone and uh, got tonight left and tomorrow's at about four, five-ish, so plenty of time. Um, and hopefully we should have a couple. So I'll just get back to you in a bit. Okay, so we're coming into the second day, the evening, well, uh, late afternoon. Um, haven't had anything yet, shame I lost one today. Um, in the snags at the back, um, fish everywhere on the top, but it's just been too hot. They've just been milling about and not really doing much, so Rocky's just gone home. Um, Dommy is due to drive any minute, and then we're going to crack on in the evening. I'm going to re rechuck and uh, hopefully. Uh, Spur on the bike. <coughs> That's all I did with the the uh, rod that went, that I lost the fish on. I just cast it close to the tree, within an inch, literally, really, really, really close, as close as I could get. I wasn't going to fish up in that far, um, but then I realised. Uh, well, well, I, did, I thought it was too shallow, um, and then I saw fish welling up in there, so I thought, bloody hell. So I brought the rig in, clipped the lead up, banged it back out, um, and yeah. Five minutes off it went. So I'm gonna bring them back in, in the next half hour, rechuck them, get Dommy settled in, rechuck his rods. Hopefully have a couple of fish. But um <clears throat> you probably saw the pictures on Facebook. A couple of weeks back I came down here with Dommy on the guest. Um and he well probably a week ago he came down and he caught his PB. Um so let's take a look at some of that footage now. Um of catching some fish and whatever fun stuff so yeah I shall um, well, speak to you in a bit. A prehistoric creature, an old English carp, I don't think you can get more true than that. Cast the other rod back out as soon as I got this fish and uh, ready to rock again. Seen them topping over us now so it's a good sign. Oh, what a stunner. 22.4 this one went so it's nice to break the 20 pound bracket. Bit slow but Dommy's here now and I think tonight will be, uh, be an interesting one. See what happens to get her back. I don't know about speaking there, Rick, because I just cut it out. Yeah, I won't, man. Alright, let's fuck you in. Start getting back in from over there. Fish everywhere, look. Yeah. Monkey farts. <laughs> That's that one that just topped me, I reckon. Yeah, could have been. One was cast, this one was cast. Yeah, I know it's where it come up from. Yeah, this one was right in there, mate. But it's yeah. got a monster in the deep. £20.14. Recapture for me, I had this one not too long ago. But still, nonetheless, what a stunning fish. Slightly down in weight, only by about, well, three ounces. So, not particularly. 
Um, yeah, stunning fish, interesting two tone on them. On the other side, I'll show you that. See that in the photos, but yeah, let's get a couple of photos and slipping back. Right, well, there we go. Spot on. Sudden spell of action in the afternoon, and I'm here with my third 20, 20 pound seven. Lovely common, first common of the day. Fought quite hard, but they're just going mad out there. It's just the third one in the space of 45 minutes. So, hopefully, we can get another one, just bang the rock back out. So, yeah, it's good looking good. Put some more bait out and see if we can get another there you one. Go. Take a look at this lovely old linear. Just caught this morning, probably getting on half nine now. Not quite 20 pound this fish, but near enough, 19.7. You can't grumble when they look like that. What a son I just caught as I was baiting up. Um, just reeled all the rods in now just to recast for the day. Not going to move actually, the fish look like they're here, so get the rods back out and see if we can grab another one. Just a lovely Wrong common. 24.9, biggest of the session. What a brute, fought for ages. I did think it was something special actually, but sadly it only went 24.9, but still, what a stunner. Fish are in front of us. Let's even get the rods back up again. Okay, so what I thought I'd do is just talk you through what I'm doing with the rigs. Um, seem to be so far successful, um, doing quite well, so quite pleased that's the way. I just thought I'd talk you through how to approach a silty venue. Been doing things slightly different to what I usually do, so for those of you who think oh I'm gonna be using the same thing, doing slightly different. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you the pop-up rig that I'm using. Um, so, yeah, pop-ups is obviously a good option over silt, because uh, you don't want the hook to be fouled up by any debris on the bottom. So Basically, first of all, we've got one of those quarter safe zone leaders, the new ones. And we've got a leg clip system with quite a fat, flat pair. Um, probably a two ounce there. Just for a leg clip, just dropping the lid on the takes. And you've got a size uh, 8 ring swivel there with a quick link on it. And we're just attaching the rig like that. And all the rig is, is a hinge diff rig. So, in trap, boom, mouth trap, obviously size 8 choddy hook and uh, then there's a bait got a piece of white zig foam that's been doing quite well at the minute um, I think where this water's seen a lot of pressure in the past fresh baits resemble danger so using a white bait you know whether it be a white pop up um, I've been alternating between zig foam and then just cream stim pop ups um, I think it just resembles washed out bait and old bait so it's safe um, and then with this obviously we've been scattering out um, some boilies um, the Hinders Nuts boilies, really nice smell, um, kind of a live system cross sell, I've probably said it before but that's my way of describing it to you, really nice bait, working well, good summer bait, um, so that's one of the presentations, really good for using over silk, I'm also using a bottom bait rig, blowback, just standard blowback with a bit of uh, shrink tubing, um, and one of these just with the top trimmed off and have Hinders 10mm pops on top, just trimmed down. Um, and then also, we're doing something a bit crafty, we're putting out some particles. Um, I'm putting out some Hinder salt and chilli pepper hemp, some carp crunch and chopped tiger and some nut sludge with little gems pellets all mixed in together and just balled up and catapulted out to the spot. Um, putting quite a bit out to be fair, we, I mean we have done 48 hours, um, it's only just started to kick in now really the baiting. Um, but just doing something different, bait boats are commonly used in the winter um, and also a lot of people you know, obviously that get, creates patches of bait, and I think a patch of bait resembles a danger. So, by spreading it about using balls, you're creating a different baiting effect, and uh, well, hopefully it's improving our catch results. We seem to be doing all right. Um, and yeah, it's been a bit frantic, so I should get back to you in a bit. Right, well, there we go, a lovely brace of old English carp. Mine's a £19.7 common, and that's a PB for you, in it, Don? Yeah. Cracking fish, £20, what was it, £20.11? Yeah, £20.10? So, yeah. so, a stunning fish. Finally got Dommy one. And we're still hauling. Lovely. Gone fish here. Little one, but still a stunner. This is the young strain of fish that's grown up in here, these lovely little commons. Had a smaller one than this about five minutes ago. Um, hitting to a load of smaller ones, but that's fine, that's my eighth fish now, so I'm doing alright. I'm enjoying myself. Get back and see if we can get a bigger one.